Now we are going to start with a unit that is the organization in the living world. Like uh, if you like in this chapter what we will be doing is like uh, you know you are familiar with the machine and you are familiar with the human body also. So as you see that machine can perform its task and um, it is capable of performing its task because it is performed of certain, subs, uh, certain, sub, certain units you can say certain small units which make it capable to perform its, its function which is which, for which it is meant for. Likewise uh, if we talk about a human body then also at, in human body we know that different systems are present, different organs are present, organs are made up of tissues, tissues contain cells, cells also contain further sub, smaller units. So that means directly or indirectly a smaller unit is actually uh, you can say involved in the functioning of the human body. So that means uh, now, now in this chapter what we will do is we will just uh, look uh, for the smaller unit, we will start with the smallest unit and we will we'll just uh, go ahead that uh, what uh, bigger unit it can form and uh, which give rise to a human body or what is the uh, uh, level of organization actually which we are going to study here. So, first of all we should know that what do we mean by organization? Organization means systematic arrangement of components in a system. As we know that system is made up of components ranging from smaller to the bigger. So, here we are going to uh, this thing uh, divide them into a different levels, we will assign them different levels. So, that systematic arrangement of assigning different levels from smallest unit to the bigger unit is is called as organization. So, the technical term is the systematic arrangement of components in a system is called as organization. So, if uh, like if we try on uh, if we try arranging the different components in a hierarchy that is from a lower level to a higher level which com we come across many levels. So, this is what we are going to study here. So, when we are uh, we are up to uh, when we start uh, looking for the levels of organization, we can actually have two types of organization. One is the lower level, other is the higher level. So, first we will start with the lower level organization. So, this is the lower level organization in which you can see that the lowest level is the atom, the lowest le uh, level is the atom. As you all know that atoms are the smallest unit uh, which are actually the components of matter and you know that no living matter can be there which, which will not contain atom. That means all living matter uh, contain the smallest unit as atom which is actually the uh, living uh, which is actually the component of the matter you know that. And we know that matter is that anything that occupies space and has mass. So, if we talk about ourselves also or if we talk about the organization also, so there also atom is uh, acting as the smallest unit that uh, it is uh, it is the uh, you can say the basic component of the living matter like carbon like hydrogen atom like nitrogen atom like hydrogen atom they form the basic components of any living matter. So, atom is the smallest uh, unit of the classification. Coming on to the higher one that is the molecule. Now, I will write here what is atom it is the smallest unit it is the smallest unit like carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen and many more. We you will come across atoms in the uh, detailed chapter in class 8 like uh, but for now you should know that what is actually an atom is. So, now atoms, atoms when they combine they give rise to molecule. So, when atoms of same kind or different kind combine they form molecule. And you know that when different molecules like I say that uh, this is an X atom, this is a Y atom, this is Z atom. So, when X and Y combine they form a molecule that is the XY. Likewise, when Z and Y combine they form ZY. So, this is a different molecule, this is a different molecules. But you know that molecules also have a tendency to combine with each other under given environmental condition. And when they combine with each other they give rise to cell organelles they give rise to cell organelles and we know that cell organelles are actually the components of cell which help in uh, making the cell survive because they are doing directly or indirectly many functions for that we have already discussed in the chapter cell. So, the molecules different molecules when combined under environmental condition they give rise to cell organelles. So, this is the chemical uh, level of the classification I think you got it that is the atom the smallest unit which is actually a 
compulsory uh, substance, compulsory unit of the matter, which atoms of same or different kind combines to form a molecule and molecules, uh, two, or, uh, two molecules may be different or simple or more than two ca are capable of, uh, you can say, joining with each other and they give rise to a cell organelle. So, this is what is a chemical level. Now, moving on to the higher one, we see that different molecules when combined, they form the components of cells, so they give rise to a cell. So, what is cell? You already know it is structural and functional unit of life. This we have already discussed in the previous unit that is the cell. So, cell you are, you are, uh, you, uh, you have lot of awareness about the cell, you know everything about cell now. So, and if in case you have any problem, just uh, look for the chapter 1 that is cell. So, you will come to know about the cell also. So, uh, molecules uh, combine to form the cell and cells are the structural and functional unit of life. Now, cells which are similar in structure and they are performing the same function. As we know, we will be having a different kind of cells. So, the cells which are, which are similar to each other and they are performing a same function, they are going to form a tissue. So, what is tissue? Tissue is formed of cells, similar group of cells you can say, group of cells similar in structure and function, they perform tissue. Like we have uh, nervous tissue, we have muscle tissue likewise. And you know that the tissues, uh, all the tissues, different kind of tissues which are actually similar to each other and they are going to perform a same function, they will form a organ. So, organ is formed by group of tissues similar in structure and function, they are going to form the organ. Like we have stomach, we have liver, we have lung, we have lot of organs in our body. So, though all the organs contain the same kind of tissue which are similar in structure as well as function. So, all the tissues which are similar in structure and function, they give rise to different organs. And for each organ, uh, like uh, I say stomachs, the tissue present in the stomach is exactly same. Right. And similarly, the tissue which is present in a, any organ like say lungs, it is similar to it. it. It will have the same properties. Now, different organs, different organs uh, which are going to perform the same function, they will give rise to an organ system. For example, if we talk about excretory system, as we have, we know that we have lot of system, excretory, circulatory, respiratory, digestive system. So, all the organs which are present in one kind of system are exactly, uh, you can say, you are, they are going, they are not same actually, but they are going to perform same function. Like excretory system consists of kidney, ureter, urinary bladder, urethra. So, these all are components of excretory system and uh, they are going to perform the same function that is the excretion. So, that means uh, all the components, uh, all the organs of the organ system are going to perform the same function and all the organ systems like I discussed the respiratory, circulatory, trans so this thing uh, uh, you say that uh, endocrine system, nervous system, these all systems are go unite and they are just going to make a organism and uh, this is what is the lower level of the organization. I think you got it. That is the atom. They will give rise to molecule. Molecule give rise to cells. Similar cells uh, performing same function and looking similar form tissue. Tissues which are similar in structure and performing same function form organ. Different organs unite to form organ system and different organ systems unite to form an organism. So, this is what is a lower level. We classify atom and molecule under chemical level classification, cell in, in, under cellular level, tissue again the, with the same name tissue level, organ, organ system, organism it comes under organ, uh, organ level. So, this is what is a lower level. Now, coming on to the higher level, what we have is that is the organisms give rise to a population. See, all the organisms are not similar to each other as you know that. Like uh, I am also an organism, the uh, bacteria is also an organism, elephant is also an organism, but we do not look same, right. So, that means uh, we can uh, mention a new term here that is the species. Though we all are organism, but we belong to different species. So, what is species actually? Species is a group of organisms which are similar and can perf can interbreed among themselves, can interbreed among themselves. 
all uh, spe different species cannot interbreed among themselves like elephant and sparrow cannot give rise can, cannot interbreed or they cannot give birth to any young one so that means the species has to be same if you need to produce a young one there should be a same species so that means species is a group of organisms which are similar and can interbreed among themselves that is called as species now organisms of same species organism of same species give rise to a population so what do we mean by population population means organism of same species which can interbreed among themselves and they also depend on each other for some requirement they form the population now populations form community different populations as we know that uh, there is a there is a population of uh, elephant there is a population of cat there is a population of humans like us that means man so that means different populations which are living in a defined area with their proper characteristics they form a particular community like we have a desert community so it will consist of desert plants and animals we have a aquatic co community that will consist of aquatic plants and aquatic vegetation we have uh, a pond community so it comprises of the uh, organisms which are living in a pond so that means or get species different same species uh, having which can interbreed among themselves form population different populations of defined area uh, sorry the populations of defined area they form the community so likewise we have different kinds of community now we know that uh, now community the organism cannot uh, live alone actually we know that any organism for its survival depend upon biotic and abiotic factors depend upon biotic and abiotic factors for its survival biotic factors are those which includes the living factors like plants animals Uh, decomposers all these consist of biotic factors abiotic factor consist of all the climatic factors topographic factors like uh, soil it air water mineral temperature uh, the uh, separation by barriers so they all con constitute an abiotic factor and these factors actually interact with each other and they uh, make the survival of an organism uh, or any community or or an individual possible uh, its, its survival possible so that means different communities or you can say ecosystem is a ecosystem is actually a system where the organism interact with the biotic and the abiotic component so it comprises of the or you can say ecosystem is a place where the organism can perform all its task all everything it can perform there so a community give rise to a ecosystem so i think you got it that ecosystem is a system uh, where the organism uh, can perform all its activities it actually uh, consists of biotic and abiotic factors and it is a interaction between the living and the non living factors that is the biotic and the abiotic that how they depend on each other like if we talk about the natural ecosystem we have pond ecosystem we have river ecosystem we have uh, desert ecosystem likewise and uh, if we talk about the man made ecosystem so the best example is that of aquarium and a garden where you plant trees so there uh, you can you have uh, made an artificial ecosystem for them and you have provided everything uh, which is required for their survival so that becomes a ecosystem now all the ecosystem which are prevailing in the world all the ecosystem which are prevailing in the world that forms the biosphere so biosphere includes everything that is the lithosphere the land part hydrosphere the water part the atmosphere the air part it includes everything so that means the highest level of the organization is the biosphere and moreover the one which deals with the uh, this thing the interaction of uh, this thing the biotic and abiotic factors and their relationship they are called as ecologists they are called as ecologists the one who deals with the study of the ecosystem that how the biotic and abiotic factors interact with each other what kind of relation they have or how they are uh, interacting so that is those those people are called as ecologists and the study of ecosystem is called as ecology is called as ecology so this is what is the organization i think you got it that organization is just the arrangement of uh, this thing the systematic arrangement of components in a of a system in a proper level that is in a hierarchy that is from a lower level to the highest level so if you talk about the organization the like i have split into two parts lower and higher then what you have to do is just to make the one hierarchy and then start explaining with the lower uh, separately and the higher separately with all the definitions and with all the examples that 
that are involved. So the hierarchy, I will just uh, highlight it again. So we have atom, molecule, cell, tissue, organ, organ system, organism, population. In population, you will mention the species also. Community, ecosystem and the highest level is the biosphere. So this is what is in uh, organization. It is too simple. You just need to know that what actually they are and they are placed at what level. So this is what is in organization in the living world.